Jamie Oliver is the British chef who hit it big with The Naked Chef. Since the show took off, he's become not only massively popular, but incredibly polarizing. He's a love him or hate him figure, and he's managed to stir up as much controversy as inspiration. Let's take a look at what goes on behind all the hype and all the hate. First book. When The Guardian released their figures for the most popular book titles of 2017, Jamie Oliver claimed the top spot with his cookbook Five Ingredients, Quick and Easy Food. For as prolific a cookbook writer as he is, you probably wouldn't guess he had never read a full book until 2013. He told The Telegraph that until he picked up Suzanne Collins' hit Catching Fire, his dyslexia and boredom had kept him from ever finishing a book. He didn't explain, however, why he started with the second book in the series. Dyslexia When Oliver talked to the Radio Times in 2017, he had just released his 20th cookbook and was sitting on top of a fortune. He credits his dyslexia for giving him the perspective he needed to build that fortune. Oliver explained, If I'm in a meeting, I just see problems differently and I obsess about things differently. Because I'm dyslexic, sometimes when it requires a load of stuff to be done, I just do it. He also says he believes it's incredibly important to treat people diagnosed with dyslexia in such a way that they recognize it not as a disability, but as a gift they were fortunate to receive. Well, there's different types of intelligence, and everyone has their ability to be brilliant. Human meat. You expect any chef to get some odd requests once in a while, and celebrity chefs get them on a massive scale. According to The Times, Oliver once had to turn down a television producer who pitched the idea of a show where he cooked human flesh. He claimed it was just a bit too much for him before adding that he already knew what human flesh tastes like. His review? Pork. It tastes exactly like pork. Inquiring minds think he has a little more explaining to do on this one. Hangover Helpers Oliver has a ton of ideas when it comes to party drinks, so it's not surprising he has some advice on how to deal with the after effects. He talked to Red Magazine about some of his favorite hangover cures, recommending a massive plateful of huevos rancheros or a basmati rice-based dish with haddock and eggs or a full English breakfast. Need some faster relief? He says go for a pint of Guinness or a spoonful of cumin and swears that will sort out any hangover right away. Punishing the Kids in 2014, there was some serious social media backlash after he shared his recipe for punishing his children. He told the BBC Good Food Show, I give them chilies for punishment. Beating kids is not very fashionable and you are not allowed to do it, and if you are a celebrity chef like me, it does not look good in the paper. According to Pepper Scale, Scotch Bonnets, his punishment of choice can be as much as 140 times hotter than a jalapeno. Oliver explained that after his 12-year-old daughter had gotten, quote, quite disrespectful, he gave her an apple that had been rubbed with the Scotch bonnet. A writer for The Telegraph took particular issue not only with the tools, but with Oliver's admission that he waited until well after the incident happened to teach her a lesson. Sugar Hypocrite Oliver has shouted pretty loudly about his condemnation of sugary drinks, and in 2016 he celebrated when his sugar tax made it into the government's budget. And I've took the liberty of putting in just the five years of elementary school sugar. just from milk." But according to The Telegraph, the public was quick to point out he was being more than a little hypocritical. The new sugar tax was going to be a tiered tax based on how much sugar a food contained, but a large percentage of the recipes on Oliver's own site contain astronomical amounts of sugar. Twitter was unimpressed, and users went on to find dishes containing more sugar than the fizzy drinks he was campaigning so vocally against. Upsetting Nations not all of Oliver's recipes have been home runs. In 2014, he shared his recipe for a traditional West African rice dish. No one in West Africa was impressed, and according to BBC, droves of people took to social media to condemn the non-traditional recipe. Oliver defended the dish, saying it was labeled as his twist on the dish, not the real thing. He was back at it in 2016 when he managed to offend all of Spain with his twist on paella. This time, his biggest offense was including chorizo, which is in no way traditional, and people were pretty mad. One commenter called Oliver a terrorist, and another suggested, why don't you make some chicken nuggets out of your own fingers? It's been an absolute mess. Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.